Um, and it's for four marks, I think. Why didn't I write down the marker location? I think it was four or even like, could have even been five or six marks. It was, it's quite a big one, I remember. And um, right, so what we're going to do here, guys, is I'm going to quickly show you how to approach these types of questions. You get different types, and I've showed you guys this before. If you end up with a question like this one day, um, equals to four, then what I want you guys to be able to identify is the common, the common factor of 3x and 3x. See, it's exactly the same. Um, so what you would do in a situation like this in a test is you would split this up into 3x and 3 to the power of 2. And then this one would be 3x and 3 to the minus 1. Then you would take out your, uh, your common um, factor, and that would be 3 to the power of x. So you would take it out. And then you would be left with 3 to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of minus 1 equals to 4. And then you would just take this number over here, and you would divide on the other side. And then you would end up with something quite easy. OK, that's how that type of question would work. Then you get a question like this. OK, so now we would do the same type of thing in the beginning. You would split it all up. And then what I would want you guys to identify is not the common factor. There's no common factor. That is not the same as that. But if you were here last night, you would remember that I went on about what a trinomial actually is. And a trinomial is anything where this number is double this number. And so then you would make use of some type of trinomial technique. Okay. Now, if we look at this one, it actually doesn't end up being any of those. There's not going to be a, um, a common factor and it's not going to be a trinomial in the beginning. Okay. Okay. Some people are asking me what happened to the 82. Uh, guys, I'm just showing you some examples quickly. These are just examples. All right. I haven't actually started the question yet. I'm about to start it now. Right. So if we look at this question, there is no common factor. Because look, there's a 3 to the power of x. There's a 3 to the power of minus x. Some of you might be saying, yeah, but Kevin, there's a 3 to the power of 2. But that's not a common factor, really, guys. Um, that's, yeah, that's not really going to be a... Um, it is a common factor, but it's not going to be one that you you want to take out. You typically want your common factor to be something with an X at least. Okay. And then it's also not going to be a trinomial. Why? Because this is X and this is also X. So they're not double or anything like that. So what do we do? Well, what we can do is the following. So we're going to break it up identify that there is no common denominator, I mean, common factor, and there's no trinomial. What we could do, though, is realize that this is negative. So we can take it down to the bottom like that. Then whenever we end up with a fraction, we could think about a common denominator or an LCD. So that LCD would be three to the power of x. Okay. But first, I'm just going to quickly rewrite this as 9. And I'm also going to rewrite this as 9, just to make our life a little bit easier. So it's going to be 9 times by 3 to the power of x plus 9 over 3 to the power of x equals 82. I'm then going to multiply my LCD across so that I can get rid of my fraction. And so we're going to end up with 9 times by 3 to the power of x times by 3 to the power of x plus 9 equals to 82 times by 3 to the power of x. I'm then going to combine these two over here. Because they have the same base, I can add their exponents. Okay, And so that's going to become 9 times by 3 to the power of 2x plus 9 equals to 82 times 3 to the power of x. Now, all of a sudden, we can identify a trinomial. How come? Because here we've got a 3 to the 2x, and here we've got a 3 to the x. So because the one is double the other, that is the definition of a trinomial.
So what I do then is I'm just going to rearrange this entire thing so that it looks more like a normal trinomial. So that's going to be nine times by three to the two X minus 82 times by three to the X plus nine equals zero. Um, right. So what happens now is that we obviously going to use the K method now. Okay. Uh, oh, here we go with the K method. Okay. Um, so we are going to, um, we're going to let this part over here equal to K, but first I just want us to quickly rewrite this part here as three to the X in brackets squared, right? It's the same thing, this and this, it's the same exact thing. Then I'm going to say minus 82 times three to the power of X plus nine equals to zero. A lot of learners, they want to multiply these nines and these threes. They cannot combine because of exponent rules. But what we can do now is we can say let k equal to 3x. Some learners can do this without the k method. That's absolutely fine. And so what we would end up with now is that we have 9k squared minus 82k plus 9 equals 0. Now, you can solve this by factorizing, but I like to just use the quadratic formula, but I'm not going to write it all down. I'm just going to quickly get the answer on my calculator just to save us time. However you do this, you should end up with k equals to 9, or k should be equal to a ninth or 1 over 9. All right? Right. So now, guys, um, we now know that k is 9 and k is 1 over 9. But then remember that k is actually equal to 3 to the power of x. So what I'm going to do now is divide my page in half, and I'm going to say 3 to the power of x equals 9, and 3 to the power of x equals 2, 1 over 9. And then you could use logs here if you wanted to, but these ones can actually solve. If I just change that to 3 to the power of 2, then I drop the 3s, and so x is equal to 2. That is my first answer. All right. And then, um, and so then the other one here, we can say this is the same as three to the power of X equals nine to the negative one. Uh, you can use logs, but what I'm going to do is just change it to three to the power of two to the negative one. And so three to, oopsie, that's writing off the screen there, Kevin. And so therefore we can say three to the power of X is equal to three to the minus two. And so therefore, X must be negative two. And so there's how we get those two answers over there. Okay, so this one was not a trinomial in the beginning, and it was not a common factor in the beginning. But then we eventually did a few interesting things and we got it to become a trinomial. All right, so that's quite a good one.